All right, man, this fear is on fire. <laughs> right, I made it to the tip of the pier at Goose Island. My RV is actually out there. There's some blue lights. So, man, we're a ways out here. You know, it's like, we're like a good quarter mile from the RV. And uh, we're gonna finish. We're gonna fish this spot right here. I got my uh, check out my car set up. I got this car right here, and I use my Jovi. I put some lights. So I put this light out here. Look how bright it is. Perfect. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna end up moving this somewhere else. But uh, for right now, we're gonna set up right here and cast out some big crabs. See what happens. There we go. It's the first time that I've actually fished at the very end of this pier. I've only been here twice. The last time that we went out here, we got skunked. But I do know that a lot of people catch a lot of fish out here, so hopefully we can get something. All right, let's do it. All right, we got a nice crab right here. Perfect, right down the middle. Look at that, preserved. We've had these crabs on ice for like two days already, and uh, we put them in the fridge, and then we put them on ice. And uh, look at that, still really good. They're not rotting or anything. We got two baits right there. We got the usual suspects out here. We got the Okuma Rockaway, the 6000 on the Rockaway HD, the 11 foot. And over here, we got the Surf 8K on a newer Rockaway HD, the 12 foot, eight to six to eight ounces to a pound, I think it is, something like that. And then I got something that I really want to use. Check it out, y'all. Got the Okuma Komodo. The 400 series right here, I think it's a 463 LX. And then I got a interesting rod here. This is the uh, Okuma Psycho Stick. This is a musky rod. It's 9'6", 4 to 16 ounces. You can cast a pound with this thing. And hopefully we can have some big fish. And what I like about it is the size. It's kind of telescopic also, but it has this trigger right here that's gonna help you grip when you're reeling in or casting, all right? And then also I'm gonna throw out a, some small baits. I got here the Okuma Reflections. This one is the 6.9, 1 8 of an ounce to half an ounce. Then the reel here, this is the Okuma ITX 1000. We're gonna use this for dinner fish, but if we hook up to a big fish, it's gonna be a nice long fight with this right here. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited to be out here. Hopefully we land some big fish. Wind is right out our faces. We're probably not even gonna cast 50 yards out because the wind is so strong right now. All right, let's get this out. <clears throat> We're gonna set this one over here. Man, it's uh, it's really uh, kind of eerie out here, you know? Pure bay in front of you. You know, Yaki can barely see anything out here. You think this guy just caught something? Is that a sand trout? No, all specs. Oh, they're all, all specs? Specs, Yeah. I think there's some bigger ones on the edge, judging by what's been rolling, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> what are you fishing for? Drum. Black? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bring my big rods. We were just kind of having fun, but... Yeah, that'd be nice catching one, a drum on one of those. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about... Well, I've got the 4,000 in my bag. I thought about putting that on and... On that one and... Or, uh, one of them. All right, man, good luck. Man, hopefully I get back and my reels are screaming. That'd be sick. Whoa, look at that, as soon as I pulled up. Just... just get hit or what? Oh my God, look at this, this is crazy. I... This is crazy. Oh. 
Oh my god. There was a fish on here. <laughs> Who knows how long this fish has been on here? <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. This is crazy, I can't believe this happened. But I had a feeling, stuff like this always happens to me. You know, I don't, I don't even know where it went because like I cast it out way out there and I get back and I'm super slacked up. Because like, I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, there it is. Let's try to net it now. Let's try to get it in the easy part right here. Look at that. Cause I, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to land this here, right here. So let me bring it around this way. All right, so here what I'm doing is one of the challenges of fishing by yourself is landing a fish from a pier with a drop net it can be very hard because you're going to be using both hands most of the time there's an angler that'll drop net your fish but since here we're by ourselves what i like to do is first i step on the rope to prevent my drop net from falling into the water if that happens well that's it you're polluting the water and then you just waste like 30 40 bucks depending on what kind of net you have so first thing step on the rope and then with your left hand or your right hand, it doesn't matter which hand you're using, you want to maneuver the fish into the drop net, which leads to my second point. Release your drag. If you're using a spinning reel, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up that bell just in case the fish gets a second wind, which it happens a lot. You'd be surprised. If you're fishing a conventional star drag, loosen up the star drag. If you're using a lever drag, free up the spool, leave it on free spin. All right. That's important because you don't want to lose your combo. What's going to happen is if you don't do that, your line and drag is going to be tight and the fish is going to get a second win. And it could possibly be that you lose your combo or that you can break the tip depending on where you're holding the rod. Third thing, use a glove. Now, I've been doing this for several years. My hands are uh, calloused. I kind of ignore the pain that I'm going on here. I'm not really thinking about it. But if it's going to be your first few times using it, I suggest using a glove. Because if that fish gets a second wind, it's going to slice right through your fingers. You know, I'm probably foolish. I should probably be using a glove also, but I don't, I'm not using one. But I'm used to doing it, so I know how to do this. So these are very easy steps that you can use to drop net your next fish. And here, what happened is that one of the lines became undone from the drop net. So I, what I did is I did a quick double overhand knot. This is a temporary solution. It's not gonna. It's not going to work. For a long time it's not a long-term solution but next week's video we have albert from hard life tackle and he's going to show us a very reliable knot that's going to be able to hold the strings on the drop net so this doesn't happen again yep 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 and we'll step here and we'll try to land this motherfucker again excuse my language oh here we go there we go
got it. Got it. You hear that, guys? Hear that drumming? Oh, with this monster drum. Whew. That was hard. Check it out, y'all. That is a big fish. All right, let's get the hook out. Boom, boom, boom. It's crazy. God. <laughs> wow, that's, this is a crazy catch. Talk about lucky. Look at that. Hook came right out. Let's get this big guy out of here. Whoa. What a big fish. What a big fish. Dude, this is crazy. Look at that. It's not as big as the other drum. But man, these drums fight hard. Check it out, y'all. Oh my god, these drums are always so heavy. Oh, look at this big old drum. Whew. Check it out, y'all. Big old drum. So the story with this one is that I forgot my drop net. But it is, I saw so I was like, you know what? I don't know that I'm gonna get hits immediately. So I walked, I sprint, I kind of jogged over there, came back, and I was like, you know what? It'd be some shit if I uh, got a hit while I was gone. Weird stuff like that happens to me all the time, and here we go. This fish was out like 100 yards, so I probably got hooked up while I was walking out. It was gone for like 10 minutes, and this drum freaking, it swam, it, it swam away. But check out a big old drum. Oh man, it's heavy. All right, let's get her out. Oh. Yo. That was awesome. That was sick. All right. So here I'm letting the fish go. This is pretty simple. You should, you know, if you have the chance, you should release your fish gently. Don't just if you if you can't help it, try not to chunk your fish into the water. So what I do is I drop the net and just let it let it swim around, let the water get through its gills. And once I see that tail whipping, then I let it go. That's it. Simple. Oh, there she's ready already. Yeah, there we go. That was sick. Man, it's been a long time since I caught a fish at night. It's been a real long time. But that drone was crazy. Can't believe that happened. Hey. Yeah, do you remember what I told you that something was gonna happen while I was gone? Yep, it happened. So I, you know, I just I, I came back and like I heard like a little like a zip, like a quick zip. You know, I looked and I, I I'm like, okay, well, I look at the 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 rock because it's right here. I was like, well, that's still pretty tight. And then I go check the one in the corner, and it's like the line is like under the pier. I was like, what? The so I start quickly reeling in. It was tangled up, and I caught up to it. So like, the pier, the, the 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 oh, I got another hit. I got I gotta go. All right, do I got a hit or what? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, oh. There's another big fish here, guys. <laughs> Look at that. I just casted this out too. Like literally just casted it out. Yeah, my line is tight. You hear that whistling? 
That's how you know you got a tight line. Just like that. All right, we're getting close. Still trying to run, still guys a lot of energy. Might have to bring it around, guys. It's gonna go under the pier. Let's get her up. Man, I love fishing at night. It's been a long time since I fished at night, and I stopped fishing at night because I used to work nights. So I used to be up all night, and so I, all I did was fish nights. I switched to days, and I stopped fishing nights. But I forgot how productive night fishing is. Before the freaking fish goes under the pier. Here we go. Here we go. Headed by the mono. Oh, this one's bigger. It's drowned. They're just so fun. They're so big. Oh, this is a tank. Just, landing these alone is a challenge in itself. Check it out, y'all. Another a big old drum. <laughs> I, I casted that like, literally, I casted that crab. It like, within a minute, it got picked up by a big drum. Check it out, y'all. This is like a 30 pound drum. Feels pretty good. Maybe 40 pounds. Check it out, man. Nice drum on a crab out here at, at the Goose Island Pier. Whew. You know, it's, it's a challenge getting these big drum in by yourself. Make sure you don't lose any stuff. Check it out, y'all. Beautiful fish. Whew, all right, let's let her go. Ah. Five inches, something like that. Forty, forty inches, not bad. Short, but stubby right here. Huge chest, big old shoulders on this thing. All right, let's get her back out. Oh, see, let's get this. Oh my god! We're gonna use a Komodo now. I can't wait to land on fishing a Komodo. I've always wanted a Komodo. Look at that huge bait caster. I love using bait casters. Bait casting convention, that's my thing. So, when I saw that Okuma had a, this Komodo, man, I had to snatch one up. Oh, see what happens. Maybe we got another big ass drum. Look at that. And that wind really picked up now. Oh. Is this got a hit or what? I just heard a click. Is it click? Oh, yeah, it is. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it sure is. Oh, yes. Yes, I've been wanting to catch a fish on this Komodo. A big one, too. Yes. All right, let's get it in. This is, ah, oh man, I like this combo. I need to give you another one. Man. 
Look at all y'all. Big fish. Don't want to come in. Man, how, this is a big fish, guy. <laughs> he ain't ready. This is a big one. Well, they're all big, you know, they're all freaking huge. Oh, there he goes, look at that, right there. <laughs> oh man, I've been wanting to land a fish on this reel. Look at that, big old fish. Big old fish, y'all. Another big fish. <laughs> oh, this one was well hooked too. I gotta get this one out. Another fish. You guys hear that? Another one. Another, <laughs> another drum. I got a hit over there, but let's let this one go real quick. All right. Yep. Oh. Check it out, y'all. Another fish, back to back to back to back. This is crazy, y'all. This is not that big. But it's big, though. Oh. Man, we already got this one in. This is four already. Yeah, this one has a lot of energy still. Yep. That's a lot of energy left. Finally got it. Finally got it. Oh, I finally got this one up. Alright man, this fear is on fire. <laughs> wow. Man, some of these fish are like getting really hard to land. Scott, this is the fourth one. Back to back to back. Whew, check it out, y'all. This is not as big as the other ones, but man, I wonder if all hard. Sometimes the younger ones fight really hard. Check out y'all, big old drum right here. Whew, I am wore out. I'm, I've been. Getting back to back to back to back. Oh, beautiful fish, check it out y'all. Big old drum, look at that. Outstanding, I love this night. I haven't had it like this in a long time. When I used to fish nights, man, it was always fire, but since I switched down to days, whew, ah, oh, man. Whoa.